Hey, how's it going? So, I want to talk about today how you're getting basically scammed by the whole League of Legends, I'd say. I think mostly it's influencers and community as a whole, right? So, community is full of kids who are being influenced by the scammers on YouTube who promise you things that don't exist. Okay, so... Um... Let me just think, what's the best way to start it? Okay, I think the best way to start it would be to go through belief systems that you have in your mind that are false. Now, the content creators and influencers are gonna try to prove to you that they are real because you really desperately want to believe in them. But they are not true, they're factually not true. Okay, it's the same system uh, used by scammers and course sellers to sell you dreams that will never happen. Things like, you know, pursue your dream and you, it's going to happen for you. If you truly believe in, in something, it will become real. Okay, so they like to quote successful people. So, for example, people like... What was the latest one I watched? I watched the Coffeezilla debate against... Actually, I'll find it. One sec, I'll be back. Yeah, so I'll link this in the description below. So this guy, this guy, I'd say he is a bit of a... On a scammy side, right? This Billy Jean guy, right? Because he sells courses on... How to sell courses, basically. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He is that type of a guy. He sells online marketing, blah, blah, blah. I looked at some of his uh, advice that he gives, and it's not really quality advice. I know he's going to quote, I have so many students, I have blah, blah, blah. Uh, he's taking advantage of vulnerable people that are very naive. All right. He, he just is. I link, it's very heated debate, so I'm going to link it in the description below. Okay, to link coffee versus Billy. Like, fundamentally, the argument between them is very simple. Billy is like this, right? So, Billy, he sells courses. Okay, so he sells courses. Motivation, marketing, selling, whatever. He says, pursue your dream. And it's going to happen. Okay. Now, I'm not trying to discourage you. But I, I have to... I need to put you into kind of the mindset of the reality. Okay. Like, the, because there is woohoo. And then there is the reality. Okay. So, he quoted LeBron James. Uh, made it against the odds. Okay. So, that's his whole theory. Is that the odds are against you. But you should still do it. And he quotes, they like to quote a lot of successful people. All right? So, let's just pause on that. Let's just pause on that. So, Coffee, Coffee Zilla, his mindset is different. He says, okay, if it's statistically against you, it probably not gonna happen for you. Does that make sense? So, the best, the easiest way I can explain it, the easiest way, is the lottery. Okay? So, the odds of winning the lottery, we can Google it. Odds of winning the lottery. One in 13, 14 million. One in 14 million. Do you understand how statistically, how statistically small that is? You understand? One in 14 million. If somebody was to tell you, go pursue your dream to win the lottery, I would tell you, do not do it. It is statistically, mathematically impossible for you to win the lottery. Now, it's true that somebody is going to win it. It is true. Okay? It is true. But the statistical probability that it's going to be you is one in 14 million. Does that make sense? Right? For example, statistics of becoming 
a successful actor. You have to remember 5% of actors get paid minimum wage. Do you understand? 95% of actors make no money. You take pool of 100 actors, 95% of those people make no money and only 5% of those make minimum wage. Being an actor is incredibly, incredibly bad choice of career, right? Same as being a, a model, for example, right? Because you have to remember, guys, you have to remember. <clears throat> Let's go to Twitch. I'll, sh I'll show you the problem. I'll show you the problem straight away. Twitch, right? Now, most people, most people, when they go to Twitch, they think that they are going to be the ninja. They're going to be the, what, what's the most uh, successful? Most successful Twitch streamers. Ninja, I think, right? Iron Play, Rubius, Tifu, Ibia, Felix, some kind of god, Shroud, Grief, Pokemon. So they think they think that they are gonna be these guys. All right. Now look at the number. Look at numbers. Fifty people, right? And the lowest of them has 3.9 all right 3.9 this is six times less than ninja right now you have to remember let i will show you the the painful truth okay the painful truth let's go to league of legends okay now most of you think you're gonna be here now here is the reality of the situation okay look this is zero viewers zero viewers note there are you're gonna say oh you know i'm i'm speaking portuguese uh, i i have i have a competitive advantage because i'll just i'll just be entertaining portuguese nobody else does that note that every single possible language has already been covered every single possible I don't know, you're going to say, oh, I'm going to be a anime character. I'm not going to be playing Trindamir. I'm not going to be playing, I'm not going to be showing my face. I'm going to be showing a Trindamir picture. That's going to work. That already been tried. There is Timo playing Timo. There is Nasus playing Nasus. There is for sure uh, Ari playing Ari. Has already been tried. Okay, L look, this is zero viewers, right? There is one viewer. And look how many channels are like that. Do you see? Look. Let's let's see how, how how long do we have to scroll to get to two viewers. We're talking just two viewers, right? <clears throat> okay, so we got to two viewers now, right? Let's go. H how long do we have to scroll to get to three viewers? Okay, so we got to three viewers. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so four viewers. Five viewers, okay. Okay, so how many channels have we already scrolled through? So we're on 12. Now, remember, to make minimum wage on Twitch TV, minimum wage, you have to be American and you have to have at least 1,000 viewers. At least. I'm talking like minimum, right? So, how long until we're gonna get to thousand viewers? Do you think? Probably gonna take us a while. Oh, so we already scrolled through everyone. Oh yeah, yeah. So there are not a lot of people. There are not a lot of people uh, streaming. That's why. Oh yeah, it's because of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the time. Normally, and I encourage you, I encourage you on the weekend, just go on the weekend and try to scroll through like zero to one viewers. It's going to take you forever because right now, um, my apologies, it's just that there is not a lot of people streaming because of, you know, high school, because of uh, work and all that stuff. I'm on holidays right now because I'm starting a new role. That's why I can do this, right? But I'm telling you, try to scroll through it. I actually have a video on my channel where I try to do it. 
and it was like I was scrolling for like three minutes and I was still on two viewers I think so you have to factor in how many channels there are and how many viewers I actually did the maths on it one second I'll find it okay so I found the site that's the site right so you can look in here this is twitch statistics this is how many viewers are watching something right now one and a half million this is how many live channels okay if you average them out if you average them out right this is the viewers this is the channel uh, channels you will get 29 viewers per channel now this is over buffed because right now there are not a lot of channels live because of school and all that mambo jumbo right last time I did it it was 14 okay you're not gonna make money on 14 viewers I also followed channels like Miss Buffy I think she plays League of Legends right and she still has 350 viewers on average right her viewership is like now well, last time I checked I mean it was what like six months ago right but she I kind of took her as a science project three years ago I think and she had like 290 like about 200 -ish viewers and she basically it was like 250 200 and last time i checked she was like 350 400 right so she's still not even making minimum wage do you understand and she's from uk because the commission is lower if you're european all right so i'm just saying that you know your odds are very very slim so if the final question is like right should you be a twitch streamer the answer is no why because statistically it's just not gonna happen for you right you will try right you will get some degree of success you probably get to 30 viewers which is probably what uh, on average is gonna be but you're not gonna get to 20,000 viewers I will tell you that straight away multiple people try the odds of you making it just just look at look, look at that okay look there's 50 50 of them in here right so this is live channels right now so i again this is slightly um this this probably should be seventy-five thousand, right but let's take it let's take it okay so this is the channels and out of them 50 are like super successful right so let's let's divide this divide by this what are the odds of you making it right <clears throat> less one tenth of a percent and I'm I'm telling you this should be 75 I'd say this should be like 75,000 right that's probably closer to it 0.07 percent probability <clears throat> now Here's the problem with this guy, with this guy here. He sells the course <clears throat> to motivate you to do it. So he makes money on the fact, based on your naiveness, right? He wants you to do it. Why? Because then, right? Because then, what's going to happen? Like, let's say, let's say you, you try to become a Twitch streamer, right? Twitch streamer, right? So, for the first year, you're gonna have two, two, two or three viewers, right? You're gonna be demoralized. You need some motivation. Who sells motivation courses? Billy does, right? So you're gonna go to Billy and you're gonna buy a book on how to be motivated, right? Okay. So two years have passed. Now you are on six viewers, right? Now, Billy figured out that, hey, he, a lot of my people are in Twitch. Let us make a course on how to become good at Twitch. Okay, even though he has no success with Twitch at all. Okay. Now, of course, you're going to go and buy his course because now you're in his funnel. And that's going to be the cycle. And after probably five years of doing this, you're going to be on... 30 viewers, right? And you realize that, sh shiza, I just wasted five years of my time, right? And on 30 viewers, you make no money. 
right? It doesn't do anything. Furthermore, the skill that you have for playing League of Legends is useless on the marketplace. Okay, let's look at the alternatives, right? Alternative ways. You can become an accountant. Let's say accountant, okay? In five years, you can get a ACCA, I think it's called. ACCA, right? Uh, ACCA, I think. Accounting like this, right? Yeah. You can for sure get it, right? So let's say accountant qualified ACCA salary, right? Forty-seven thousand, right? So in five years, your opportunity cost could have been a guaranteed skill of forty-seven thousand. Okay, but Billy knows. Billy knows that this shit is boring. This is boring. Okay, becoming an engineer is boring. Becoming a programmer is boring. Right? Manager is by far one of the worst. Like it's so boring to be a manager. Right? But Billy knows this, right? So he is going to be there to tell you, go and become a Twitch streamer. It's fun, right? Now, CoffeeZilla is going to do the maths that I just did and tell you that your statistical probability of becoming a streamer that makes even minimum wage is slim to none. So instead, you should pursue this, right? And that's the whole argument between them two. This guy is saying... Yes, but there are people who make it. Yes, a small majority. They do. And he says, does that mean you should not do it? My answer to you is yes. If statistics are like that, you should never, ever attempt something like this. Right? Now, let's look at his example. LeBron James made it. Most of the NBA players, let's, let's just talk about, because I'm an ex-basketball player, dude. I, I know that stuff. Right? Let's look at the basketball players. Right? <clears throat> NBA players. Okay, let's take uh, two like superstars right now. Steph Curry. Steph Curry, I think. And then, what's his name? Uh, Doncic, I think. Uh, he plays for Memphis. No, not Memphis. Uh, Dallas Mavericks, right? What's his name? Um, Steph and Curry, I think. So, this guy is good. And then, let's take a... Um, Maverick superstar Luka Doncic Okay Okay, let's look at both of them Alright, so Steph Curry Who are his parents? Who are his parents? Okay, Steph Curry Parents is NBA Pro player Dad who is his mom? Volleyball. Pro player. Both are very, very successful. Okay? Now, so genetics, budget, best coaches, right? Environment is there to succeed. Do you understand? Like, that child is born... And he is pretty much guaranteed, guaranteed to play in the NBA, right? How do we know that? Because his brother, um, Steph Curry, brother, Steph Curry, is also playing in the NBA. Do you understand? So, when your father is an NBA superstar your mother is an NBA superstar, they're all loaded, you are in America, you are born in a privileged family, you have the resources, you have the best coaches, you have the best nutrition. It is stupid not to go for it. Do you understand? It is stupid not to go for it. If you are born, um, your father is a successful YouTuber, your mother is a successful Twitch lady, you are in a privileged family, 
you have the budget for marketing you are already good looking right you are already well connected it is stupid for you not to be an influencer right for example look at all the royalties are they working as accountants are they working as programmers managers no all of them are influencers why because they are born in the privileged society where media where they can control the media they can control attention it is stupid for you to go and <coughs> try to qualify for acca to earn forty-seven thousand, right because your budget alone will make you successful on youtube because you do know that on youtube you can pay to be um featured you can pay to have your video be featured you can hire the best youtubers to work with you to create a video it is stupid for you not to do it do you understand now let's look at luka Doncic, right or whatever his name is right <sighs> okay who is his father right basketball coach his his father is a basketball coach and a former player successful player right mother is a business owner slovenia is a good country for basketball do you understand so he was born already to a basketball coach with money and resources to coach him so his genetics are going to be good environment is there so he's just a version of this same same version as steph curry you can say that he's like a third child of uh, the curry family of course he's gonna make it it is stupid for him not to go for nba do you understand so this guy does not understand it he does not understand the difference between being luka Doncic, right or let's say Steph Curry versus let's say I don't know let's let's say Adam um, Furlong who was who is born in Ireland Athlone right his parents are one one of them is let's say uh, middle manager mother is a housewife they have he has no genetics ireland sucks at basketball they are they do we're just horrible okay so and he wants to be an nba this is a dead end this here is a dead end you should not do it if you are this guy do not do it under any circumstances go get go 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 with this okay because this is a dead end for you if you are this guy if you're born in here right under no circumstances should you ever do this go into nba do you understand but this guy what pisses me off he tells this guy go and pursue your dream coffee zilla is telling him no no don't do that because you're not gonna succeed and he's like oh yeah because you're a quitter no because i understand statistics do you understand statistics right because you are in here this guy adam furlong is in here steph curry is in gonna make it 100 percent. how do we know it even his brother made it do you understand okay so how does that tie into nba how does that tie into nba this is because let's write down your beliefs okay so let's write down your beliefs now i i hope you understand what i'm trying to do right so we have a belief that you should pursue your dream right so we have a, a systematic belief right so let's write it down you should not quit on your dreams so we have two two sides right we have one side says 
if stats we, we'll call it logic side logic side right logic if stats are against you you should not pursue a pipe dream which i already demonstrated to you this is becoming an actor twitch streamer nba superstar model whatever the, if you're born in the middle class your odds of making it are slim to none you should not do it right now exception if you are born in privileges yes you should go for it right so we already discussed because i mean if you're born steph curry you're Father's NBA superstar, your mother is a professional basket, professional pro player, you are in the right environment, right country, everything is stacked in your favor, yes, right? So another one, yes, you should pursue your dream no matter what, okay? So people who are gonna, people are gonna quote double lift, probably, double lift um lebron james whatever right now to which we we already established we already talked about it right somebody is gonna win the lottery out of <coughs> out of one million lebron james's one lebron james is going to make it statistically it will happen but the odds of that lebron james being you very very small out of again now, the best article on this, one second, I'll post it in the description below. Yeah, so here is the article, right? Uh, I'll post it in the description, so read from here. I'd like to imagine a national coin flipping contest. Let's assume 222 million Americans tomorrow morning. We ask them to wager a dollar. They go out in the morning at sunrise and they flip a coin. Basically, the idea is that if you flip a coin and you guess correctly, you win the dollar of the person who guessed incorrectly. Now, if you think about the pyramid, right? If you think about the pyramid structure, every day there's gonna be somebody winning and somebody getting eliminated, okay? So, in here it's like very important. In 10 days, we're gonna have 215 people left. You have to remember, Every day somebody gets eliminated, somebody wins. Every single day. After 10 days, out of 225 million people, there's going to be 215 people left who have now correctly guessed 20 times in a row. Okay, 20 times in a row, correctly guessed. So now they turned $1 into over a million. So 225 million have been lost, 225 million have been won by somebody. These people, by luck alone, done that, okay? Now these guys, are, of course, are going to go crazy. They're going to start telling you, oh, you know how I want. They're going to start writing books, attending seminars, telling you this BS. And the and their argument is, so he, he's going to be this guy. That's That's this guy here, okay? He flipped, he flipped, he flipped. Most people failed. He succeeded, and now he's saying, "Oh, you know, I'm so, I'm such a, uh, I'm such a superstar, right?" Now this is like pure luck alone. You have to understand that over time, over time, one person is gonna have all the money, basically. Statistically speaking, somebody. You have to remember, it's a closed loop. Somebody has to win. Somebody has to lose, right? So if we keep going, one person will have all this money by chance alone by chance alone so again how does that tie into this because out of a million double lifts one is actually going to become the double lift and that's the one you actually looking at do you understand right but i'm saying that if it's one in a million chance you should not do it because most statistically speaking you're gonna fail right <clears throat> So I would be in here, okay? So I'm saying, look at your situation, you, you, use your logic, right? If you are Adam Furlong, forget about it, right? In fact, you should stop comparing yourself to these guys because 
they do not play the same game as you. You start the game in League of Legends. If you are this versus this, <clears throat> this guy starts the game with pretty much full build already. You start the game with Doran Shield. Your odds of success of carrying the game is slim to none. Because this guy already started with full build. Do you understand? I hope you understand this principle. Alright, so now let's go into other beliefs. All right, so s next belief is if I am good enough, this is pure League of Legends belief now. Oh yeah, I need to link this article for you. Start reading from... You can read the whole thing, but I mean, it's very long. Uh, before we begin our examination, this one here, this part is probably by far the most important. But again, you can read the whole article if you want, right? Um, uh, okay, if I'm good enough, I can win 100% of my games. Okay, so influencers will tell you yes. Okay, why? Because they want to sell you the courses. All right, now let's look at the example of this. By now. Okay, so here's a video from Skill Cap Challenger Lol Guides. Okay. He, they are going to make a video how poor JJ <coughs> got 100% win rate in Korean whatever what is it, like Grandmaster or Diamond I, I don't know what it is right. What do Skill Cap do? They sell courses. Do you understand? Do you understand the scam? They make you believe something that is not real. And then they try to sell you the course. Do you see the correlation? Billy tries to believe you, make you believe something that is not real. And then he tries to sell you the course. He tries to sell you the motivational courses because he knows. He knows you're going to go through this. The odds of you making are very slim. So you need motivation. You need coaching. You need somebody to talk to who tell you that it's going to be okay. I'm telling you don't even start. Because analyze the situation. What are the odds? Are you this guy? Or are you this guy? If most of us, I'm telling you, I can tell you straight away. This is like 0.0001% of population. But this is you. I'll guarantee you this is you. Because that's me. All right. So I'm telling you, don't even start. Get yourself a nice job. Get yourself, like, become an accountant. Climb up the corporate ladder. Invest your money, right? And don't even start wasting your time on this bullshit, right? Why? Because you will waste 10 years of your life trying to do this bullshit. And you realize that it's just statistically impossible. <laughs> it's just statistically not going to happen, right? And you're gonna get pissed because if you were to put that 10 years of your life into this you would have been already in a good spot like me right now right i did not follow this bullshit right because i listened to guys who are a lot older than me like i had i worked in companies and i noticed that a lot of elderly people who are like you know 50 years old they did not follow their own advice and I asked them, you know, what would you do differently? They said, okay, I would not do this and I would I would invest money for sure and I would not spend so much money as well, right? So that's what I did, right? <sighs> okay, so you see, influencers, they BS you and they tell you, oh, if you lose a game... It is your fault because you are not good enough. Okay? That's the scam. That's influencers who are going to tell you, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
On our side, you have guys like me who tell you, nope. It is not possible to have 100% win rate. Because Faker, Dopa, and the best have only 50% win rates. Okay? Now, let's look at Dopa's win rate. I think I have... I actually have a screenshot of his um, win rate. Yeah. There is Dopa win rate. I think this is season 9, right? When was this taken? 2019. Alright, so it's three years ago. This is his Oriana, so he's ranked 2 in Korea. 57% on Oriana. Look at number of games he played. 600 games on Oriana. 500 games on Twisted Fate, 57. He is the greatest of all time. A solo queue player. The greatest solo queue player of all time. Has only 57% win rate. And his account is 54. So this guy... Okay, this guy here who is trying to sell you the course, is telling you that some dude got 100% win rate while the greatest of all time only has 50, 54. Do you understand the problem? This guy wants to sell you a course. I have no interest in selling you a course. I want you to be peaceful and enjoy your life and have a good life, right? So, I'm telling you, if Fake or Dopo cannot do it, the odds of you doing it is, like, impossible. So, this is, this is false. Do you understand? So, you really want to believe it because you're frustrated, and the more frustrated you are, the easier it is for them to manipulate you, right? Because out of frustration, you're going to do anything. Right? So, I'm just telling you, like, that's how they pray on your on your mentality okay so the next one is what was the next one um let's say if i play x normally it's like jacks and get good at jacks I will not have loser's queue, and I will win most of my games. This is like a variant of this, right? So, my previous video, or literally one before that, we have a... Let's have a look. Record breaker feeders, okay. Where's the Uli's game? Yeah. So, I'm giving you an example. This guy is rank 2 on EU West. He plays Trindamir and Jax. He is one of the best players on EU West of all time. Okay, I'm just giving you an example. Let's say this is you who already got to the level that you want. Right now, you learn to play jacks extremely well. You are ranked two on EU West, which is extremely, extremely high level. Can you carry the loser's queue when your team goes? His team went 0 27. Okay, the entire team went 0 27. This is okay. So he cannot carry it. Now, your next belief... Okay, so we're going to say not possible. Your next belief is going to be I go to easier server and I am going to stomp. To all the way to challenger. 
Okay, so we are looking at this, and this is EUNA. AUNE, I think. This is this server here, right? This server is easier than EU West. Okay? And this is Low Masters. I think it's 45 LP. So, this server is easier than EUS. So, this would be like Diamond 3 EUS, probably. Maybe Diamond, yeah, Diamond 3 EUS would be appropriate, right? <coughs> and he still cannot do anything because his team is 0 027. Do you understand the problem? Now, let's say we go and we hire this coach here. And we say, hey, now, we're not going to tell him that we are Uli, who is the best uh, Jax player, right, on the server, EU West. We're going to tell him, hey, you know, I played a game. My team fed their asses off. And... I got fed, I could not win the game. What do you think this guy who's trying to sell you the course is going to tell you? Just think about it. He wants to sell you more courses. What is he going to tell you? He's going to say it's your fault. It is your fault that you cannot win the game. It is your fault that you cannot carry 0 0.27 feeders to success. It is your fault that you are born in Athlon to parents that are middle manager and a housewife and you have no genetics and you are in the country that doesn't even play basketball it is your fault why because mr billy wants to sell your course do you understand and this industry is the same he's telling you it's your fault i am here to tell you it is not it is not your fault that you lose games in league of legends now, sometimes it is, sometimes it is. If you go 0-9 in your lane, I have no symphony for you, dude, right? If you play every single champion every single season, I have no symphony for you, right? Sympathy, I think it's called, right? Dude, because you have to specialize. To be good at League of Legends, at anything, you have to specialize. There is a good that Bruce Lee is saying, I'm not afraid of... Um, I'm not afraid uh, of Bruce Lee... Yeah, I'm not afraid of a person who knows 10,000 kicks, but I am afraid of a person who knows one kick, but practiced it 10,000 times. So you need to have, like, if you start learning to become good at something, they will try to narrow down your specialism straight away. They will tell you, okay, don't try to become programmer, manager, engineer, accountant, lawyer... And um, doctor at the same time. Don't try to play jungle, support, mid, top, and ADC at the same time. Pick one, right? You want to go mid, specialize on mid. You want to go jungle, specialize on jungle. You want to be programmer, specialize being a programmer. You want to be engineer, specialize being engineer. Do you understand? Jack of all trades, not going to work for you. Okay? So I'm telling you, like, if you are... If you are this guy, if you are Uli, you've done your job. That's it. It's not your fault. It's their fault. And unfortunately, in League, you cannot carry the game. This game is not designed where you can 1v5. Not possible. If it was possible... If it was possible, Faker would have 99% from it. But unfortunately, he has 50. So you have to accept this fact. No amount of crying. No amount of coaching. You go to Turkey server. You go to Russian server. You go to Latin American server. It makes no difference. It's still going to be the same shite. It's still going to be the same thing. Do you understand? Because everything has already been tried. Now, if you want to spend money, be my guest. You call this guy up. I would encourage you to well i wouldn't encourage you don't spend money because it's total bullshit because these guys are going to tell you oh look but core jj got 100 percent well how come core jj is not rank one then <laughs> right 
And I guarantee you, if we go to his, um, if we go to his win rates, uh, I don't think it's gonna be like a hundred percent. Whatever. Let's let's take Core JJ. I don't know. Let's look at Core JJ. Core JJ Wiki. There you go. <sighs> EU West, right? Okay, so he doesn't play. I don't know. Is there Korean? I think the, oh, there is, there is. Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> well, there you go. There you go. We found Core JJ. Man, it was just... Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Look. So this is Diamond 2 level. And he's a professional player. Remember this. He's a professional player. And in Diamond 2 in Korea, he has 62% win rate. His best is 68. Oh, 70, right? 82 on Bard. But again, no 100%. And he dual queues. Right, so he dual queues. Just, just, just guys, please use your head. Use your head, okay? He dual queues. He's a professional player, the best of the best. He gets paid shitloads of money to play this children game. He dual queues with other professional players who are the best of the best of the best. And they still have 62% winner. Do you understand how how impossible it is to get to 100% win rate? Two, imagine you have LeBron James and Michael Jordan playing the game of League of Legends and they can't win every single game, even though they're the greatest of all time. These are Korean players. They have the perfect age. How old is this guy? I, I bet you he's under 24. Oh my god, 28 years old. Is he retired at this stage? Oh, he plays for Team Liquid, right? Oh, he's in North America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's, yeah, yeah. He's probably retired from Korea. Yeah, you see, because once you hit like 24 and over in... You're pretty much... Your esports career is kind of gone because you're grand, grandpa, basically. Because your brain... Past the age of 24, starts to decline in reflexes. That's That's been already kind of scientifically tested and proven, so... Yeah, unfortunately, he can only probably play in North America. Because he's just too old at this stage. Right? But still, I mean, like, this guy... There's his account, right? There it is. 62. <clears throat> so another one. What other beliefs do you have? You have Duo Q. Easy to challenger. <laughs> 
here I come, okay? Again. There you go. A professional player, dual queues with our professionals, he still gets a 62% win rate. And this is, this is like, well, he plays on Grandmaster level, so I mean, that's, well, let's, let's look. Does, does he lose games in Master? Yeah, so you see here, he loses games in Grandmaster, which is lower than Challenger, right? Look, you see, he loses in Master. I'm trying to see if he loses in Diamond as well. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to scroll, because these, these guys play, they play a lot. <laughs> yeah, so you see he loses a master like a lot as well. Oh, you're probably gonna have to scroll a lot. So there you go, we have we are getting to Yeah, you see so he loses in diamond as well. So, like, any questions, right? So you think, oh, I'm gonna dual queue, low elo, easy life. Not gonna happen, right? <sighs> okay. I'm just tired, kind of, because uh, this is a difficult video to make, you know? So we covered this for you, so we covered scammers, right? We covered Mr. Billy. Okay, so the final one I want to talk about, it's very, very simple. Game efficiency. And why you should play 1v1, okay? Now, it is a common knowledge in League of Legends that there is, it's called 2-2-1 two, two, theory. Right, so two games you stomp, two games you get stomped, and one game is equal. Okay, so think about it four out of five games, which is 80% of the time, is already pre decided. Pre decided, and one which is 20% of the time, is efficient. Do you understand the problem with this? Imagine you go to... You want to become a programmer. You want to become engineer, doctor, lawyer, manager. And 80% of your classes are a total waste of time. And only 20% of your classes are actually efficient. How long will it take you to master the game? To master anything. Forever. Forever. Now, honestly, I'll tell you the truth. League of Legends is the only place, the only place that I know where I see people who have been playing the game for four or five years and they're hard stuck in like, whatever, silver, gold. And there is a guy who doesn't even know how to lane properly has the same elo as the guy who has been playing for four years. Do you understand fundamentally how stupid that is? I watched, uh, I think, Nice, Coach Nice. He was coaching a guy who was playing Garen. And this guy did not even know how to back correctly. He didn't even know how to ward correctly. And he was gold four level. And there are some players who have been playing this game for four years who understand fundamentals of league and they're still in silver this is the only game where this is possible because of this stupidity because 80 percent of your games are already pre-decided right i heard uh, some streamers that talked about that uh, sometimes the system can bottleneck you it can 
make you become hard stuck. This the, like the system decides that you should be in goal three, and if you try to escape the goal three, it will just uh, do this to you. Right, like all, all all the way until you go back to goal three. I'm not sure how to test that. I'm not gonna spend time testing it. It's probably true because I mean the guy who said it, he'd been playing the game for since like season two, I think, right? So it's been eleven seasons now. So I think he knows what he's talking about, right? Oh, uh, so. Now, the fact that people manipulate the system with, like, win trading and stuff like that, you know that there is a system in the back. Do you understand? Like, and Riot uses engagement optimized matchmaking. So, you see, it's not really about playing the game or becoming good. It's about manipulating the system, which is kind of... Which is why... Because 80% of the game is the system messing you around. Right? That's, that's like, 80% of your time. Now... Let's take 1,000 games. How many hours? How many hours that is? Okay. So every game is 45 minutes. So let's take 45. We divide, we multiply, right, by 1,000 hour, 1,000 games. This is how many minutes. We divide this by 60. That's how many hours. 750 hours. And we multiply this by 0.8 to see the time wasted. 600 hours out of 1,000 games you simply waste. And only 150 are you actually learn something. Now let's scale that to 2,000 games. I mean, you, you, you start to see the problem. Do you understand the problem? And there are people who are playing 4,000 games. Right? Do you see the problem? Four, this is 3,000 hours. In 3,000 hours, I guarantee you, you can get an ACCA, an accountant, and become like a mid-level accountant earning 70,000. 70, and instead, you are trying to get a badge in a rigged system, which you know that is rigged. And like what what like you need to stop wasting your time basically. What I'm telling you is like oh, I'm telling you how to get out of it, right? This is how you get out of it. How to stop league, right? First, you need to prove that you are good, right? This is why you're doing it. Go and play 1v1 against high elo players. Kick their butt. You are good. Okay? That's it. You don't need a system to give you a badge to tell you that you're good. If you can successfully kick a diamond player's butt consistently in lane, <coughs> you are diamond. You are probably better than diamond. Okay? Now people are going to tell you, oh, there is other aspects in the game. Macro, blah, blah, blah. Bullshit, right? Bullshit. Why? What exa how exactly are you going to win this game on macro level? This game, we are 20 minutes in. Look at the time. You probably couldn't see it, but it's, it's 20 minutes in. 20 minutes and 16. This is end of laning phase. And the game is already over. The 90, 85 to 95% of your games will be decided in the first 10 minutes. The laning phase. Right? Everything else is kind of bullshit. Macro is only important in these games here, which is 20% of your games, right? Because 40% of your games, you exit the lane phase, you are 6-0, your mid laner is 10-0, your bot lane is 20-0, you just roll the enemy team, right? <sighs> the other 40% of the time, you are on the opposite side. You are in this. You are 6 0, 6 2, and your entire team is 0 27. <coughs> the enemy team is, the enemy ADC is gonna one tap you. Right? And that's it. That's gonna be the end of, there's no macro in here. 
there is no macro in here there is no macro in here in here there is macro and macro is piss easy in league of legends i already talked about it split push opposite to your opposite to the objective push the lane and join your team in the middle because it's around because right now everything is so objective oriented whether you're fighting for rift herald whether you're fighting for dragons you push your lane into the enemy turret and you join your team that's it that's the entire macro of the league of legends done that's it okay and have good map awareness which comes with experience <sighs> okay so now i hope i convinced you that you don't need to know a lot of macro and macro is piece easy because most of your games are decided in the lane so if you can kick butt in lane you're pretty much done that's it you're done okay <coughs> second is <clears throat> substitute right so watch league do not play it so watch streams but don't play it i substitute league with um this this game is fun doodle jump right you need to kind of kill some time you you in between i do pomodoro clock right so i do 25 sets 25 minute sets so in between i need like five minute break i need to do something to distract my mind i used to play one on one but i don't want to do it anymore after after winning one one thousand i think it was 1.3 thousand games in a row i just can't play it anymore dude there's nobody to play against in league right too many kids and in here so you see you can just play this it's, it's actually like quite fun to be honest with you right and you try to beat your score every time it's quite fun you can play arcade games anything else to get rid of league of legends because league of legends is casino and it's extremely addictive like extremely addictive right another one i really like is this one flappy bird it's like really really fun it looks easy, but I'm telling you, it's very, very hard. God damn it. Now, there's a bit of lag. So, you see, my record is like 53. But... You get the idea. Like you click a button, and then it flaps its birds and wings, and it flies. It's, it's pretty fun. Like, it, fo it makes you be focused, very laser sharp. Because uh, you can't misclick. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if you misclick in here, oh, you're gone. You're gone. I'm gonna link this um, in the description below. So basically, just go uh, doodle jump. And in here, you have like multiple games. You can probably. Oh, there's a snake. I haven't uh, tested all of them, but I mean. I'm kind of fine with the Flappy Bird and Doodle Jump for now, but I'll link it in the description below so you can maybe try it. So how to quit? Uh, prove yourself in 1-on-1, right? Or whatever, reach your ELO, whatever the hell you want, right? But don't go too high because there is no difference between master tier or uh, gold player, I'd say. Because the difference between master and gold is just game rotation, right? So, I mean, if you reach gold or whatever, you or like mid gold or low gold, whatever, like you're done. You're, you're done, okay? You don't need to go further, right? Because past that point, you're just game rotating, and that's it. And then find substitute, and after two days, you will not want to play it now the problem with league it releases too much dopamine so uh, <clears throat> i don't remember this rat study one second i'll find it for you one sec yeah i found it so basically they, they were just uh, they had a lever where mouse would um trigger there's like a zap that goes into the brain and it activates a lot of dopamine so this zap is like League of Legends when you queue up, right? So, at certain point, <clears throat> after too many hours of mouse clicking this button, 
they basically became numb to all other activities other than clicking this button right because the dopamine release from that button was so high that doing anything else was so demoralizing because there was no dopamine release does that make sense it's called dopamine tolerance right so dopamine tolerance so league like releases let's say 10,000 um, dopamine per let's say per second now don't quote me on this but um, one sec I'll just put this in here my dopamine study uh, there is a reason why I'm telling you this I'll tell you that now one second so let's say um, watching a movie let's say is like 1000 dopamine per second let's say studying is like let's say 500 dopamine eating an apple let's say I don't know um, a thousand dopamine per second now the problem with league you see the dopamine release is so high your brain stops being receptive to these activities here because they are just re not releasing enough dopamine right so you have to remember that humans how do humans behave right so humans on core level we need food and shelter okay so once we satisfy food once we satisfy shelter now you can debate there is relationships some people want relationship right but i'd say we are past food and shelter because i mean if you don't have food you're not really gonna care about league of legends you're gonna be wanting to find food and be warm but once you have that you are becoming a dopamine hunter okay so your brain will go jump on anything <clears throat> that releases a lot of dopamine and unfortunately league releases shitload of dopamine that's why it's so addictive that's why drugs are so addictive because the, like if you get high on i don't know some kind of cocaine it's probably like hundred thousand dopamine per second and then you literally cannot even eat food because it it provides no satisfaction unless you get high right unless you get like this hundred dopamines per second hundred thousand right you just cannot feel anything at all that's the problem with drugs it's not like the drugs are addictive it's just that the way they affect your brain and the dopamine release is so high you become numb to anything else and that's the problem with drugs and that is the same problem with league of legends now the good news about league of legends is that after two days your brain detoxes very very quickly because unlike cocaine and other like heavy drugs they do not stay in your system so league of legends cannot stay in your system right therefore after like one or two days your brain just resets and now these activities are uh, good again i'm telling you try it what like wake up first thing you do play league of legends like three or five games and then try to watch a movie try to study impossible impossible right because you, you're just going to start yawning. You'll be like, oh, I don't want to do it. It's so boring. Let me just do it tomorrow. I'll play a couple more League of Legends games. Right? And then next day, do not play League in the morning. Do this instead. Right? And see how it feels. You'll actually enjoy it. Right? Then, in the middle of the day, play League. And then try to do these activities again. You'll see that, like, it's immediately, these activities immediately become boring right because of this and that's the problem with league the riot and tencent know this that's how they get you hooked but the good news again two days and you're done so why am i saying substitute right is good because you need to get this dopamine back from something so i get a kick out of I don't know, I just get a kick out of this game. <laughs> I don't know why, I just get it, right? For me, it's probably very close to League. Well, one-on-one -on -one League playing, right? 
because I don't know I just like it right find something very similar right so also I found that listening to radio really helps me so I listen to the spin FM oh whoops I don't know what that was we're probably gonna have to mute that okay so um why did it stop playing? Anyway, what's the matter? Oh, whoops. Um, I'm lost now. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, substitute is very good because you get this dopamine from somewhere. The problem with cold turkey, people try to quit straight away. This dopamine is, your brain is going to miss it for a bit. So, you need to find a way to kind of substitute it, right? So, and I'm telling you, after two days, you'll be fine. Okay. So that's about it. That's my rant for today. And take care. Bye-bye.